Clash fans. Treble damage coming at you today from the gas station where I'm actually going to be getting some gas for my wife's SUV and I figured I may as well <laughs> report a video for this because people have been asking how to defeat the Clash World's June Qualifier Challenge. Uh, I started tinkering with this a little bit ago when I woke up and I'll give you the spoiler alert. If you see people who say that without watching somebody else's video they did this on their first try, they're lying um, for the most part. And uh, this is not a, I just dumped all my troops in the bottom corner and got three stars kind of base. So what we're gonna do is take a look at the base real quick, break down what we're gonna be doing and then actually make the attack. So the town hall here is going to be going down to the wall wrecker, which is full of goblins and sneaky goblins. This army composition is actually one that's pretty popular right now at high tier attacks where people are using a clean walk and usually like a hero dive to carve out a large portion of the base and then use dragon riders and balloons along with the grand warden to take out the rest. I've approached this a couple of different ways and this one I think is probably going to be the easiest for people to follow along with. So if you try to do the wall wrecker and just deploy it straight here onto this barracks it gets really really close to being able to make it to the town hall by itself but because of this cannon right here which deals a ton of damage per second we actually don't wind up making it there for the sneaky goblins to take out the town hall it'll wind up dying inside the wall and the sneaky goblins will come for this dark elixir storage now they can get the town hall but you'd have to waste a rage spell which we're not interested in doing we want to be able to save those rage spells for the back end and for the queen walk so what I decided we would do is go ahead and start tanking for that by putting the Barbarian King in here on the cannon and then drop the wall wrecker right away on that barracks. Now when the King takes out that cannon, he's going to head up toward the town, uh, toward the top of the base over here. And this wall wrecker, we're just going to show you how this part works and then we'll come back and actually make the rest of the attack. So this first part here, you can see the wall wrecker starting to get a little low on health, but then after that archer tower, it's got a clear path to town hall. It'll take out that giant bomb and then the regular goblins come out of there targeting the town hall and you can't really see it that well but then you've got a bunch of sneaky goblins in there I think there's seven or eight sneaky goblins in there you see them hammering away at that town hall town hall goes down now if what we can do then is take out this area here this compartment and this compartment which includes the eagle artillery with the heroes then we can sort of be free to bring our dragon riders in on the back side now what we're ultimately going to do with the dragon riders is take out this cannon right here because there's nothing else shooting it except for that archer tower and you'll see after that cannon winds up going down it brings up in here there's nothing else for it to go after there is a hidden tesla in here so the first dragon rider that comes out is going to start taking shots from them but we're going to wind up deploying our dragon riders through here along with our balloons and the grand warden using our free spells primarily on this scatter shot and this eagle artillery and if necessary some of the stuff in the middle but once we take out the rest of that we should be okay so we're going to go ahead and actually make the attack now let's rage Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go Barbarian King, Wall Wrecker, and we're gonna go proactively Super Wall Break, and we're gonna go proactively Super Wall Break to get the Queen to step up into that compartment there. We're gonna go Archer Queen along with our healers, and at this point, we wait. The Wall Wrecker looking fine on its journey toward the Town Hall. Barbarian King looks like he's got stuff covered. Now, I actually chose to use the poison spell here to keep the queen from going down to the headhunters, and then I'm just going to use a couple of minions on the backside once that lava hound goes down to help distract those uh, lava pups that come out of there. So we're going to give her just a moment. We're going to go baby dragon up here, royal champion, and then we're going to go rage the archer queen here, throw a couple of minions in there to help distract and they are essentially going to take care of everything they need to take care of but i'm going to save one rage spell here for the archer queen to help take out that royal champion if necessary we're going to go ahead and pop the royal champion's ability actually the king is going in with the warden i mean with the uh, with the the yak there and my both my ladies are fighting those so we're just going to go ahead and go one two three four five on those guys Put these in here with them. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four on the balloons. I'm gonna send both of these headhunters in here at the same time and actually use the Grand Warden's eternal tome right as those headhunters get in toward the Archer Queen. We're going to proactively use, I meant to say minions to clean up, but live attacks, I just said spell instead. A rage spell and a freeze on this Inferno Tower. We're gonna freeze the scatter shot. We're gonna take our super balloons and we're gonna put them down on the bottom side here. 
And then we are going to use our freeze spells and our rage spells just to keep everybody cruising through here. I did use my invisibility spell when I got close here just to make sure that my dragon riders, oh, <laughs> one of them died in there. Uh, we'll go ahead and go our other rage spell. We'll go ahead and freeze in here. And then we start deploying our cleanup troops. And you can see these multi-staged attacks. Here is a super wall breaker just for fun. Uh, we'll put the wizard over here, even though he just... Oh, good, he survived to that. So, cleanup troops are, da are around. All those other things are down. The archer queen is going to wind up killing the barbarian king. And we have 41 seconds to clean up the base. You can see how incredibly complicated these attacks are. If it takes you an hour and a half to get it, don't be surprised. But there is one. I've got another strategy that I have been using that involved uh, bringing, uh, again, the Barbarian King in down here and the Archer Queen up here. But I didn't bring the Wall Wrecker in until later on and broke these walls right here and then got in toward the Town Hall on the back end. Uh, that is the incredibly complicated fashion in which you can destroy the June World Qualifiers Challenge. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. I'm going to try and do a shorter version of this to put on Reddit and TikTok because I do have a little bit of a presence there because I just love sharing with the Clash community. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Trample Damage saying have a good one.